Howdy, partner. So you want to learn how to make some delicious smash burgers on a Blackstone portable griddle? Well, you're in luck. We're going to show you today. Today, we're going to make some smash burgers on this Blackstone portable griddle and walk you through a quick step-by-step -step on how it's done. We're going to pause right now. If you can go to bottom right and hit that subscribe button, really appreciate the subscribers. Also, likes and comments. Any questions you got, please put them down there. But the subscribers are our lifeblood and keep us going. So please hit that subscribe. Back to business. The burgers we're using today is Wagyu meat. It's actually a Walmart Wagyu that they have. Uh, we have another video on, and you can check that out. We do a review, but it's delicious. And we combined it down. It's one pound, and we divide it into six burgers. So when you're doing a smash burger, I like to do double patties on each bun but typically you wanna use one sixth of a pound. So how do you do that? Buy a pound of meat, divide it into six, and we'll show you how that's done. In terms of the device we're using, you know, I have a lot of cooking devices. We don't have room for everything. So this portable one's great. Also take a camp in our 1999 Coleman Mesa pop camper got our video on. But this one here is 17 and a half by 16 inches, and it's just about eight inches tall. So it's compact. What we've done is we've attached a hose adapter so it'll fit onto a standard propane tank and not have to use the one pounders. So you can get these hose adapters. This one's really long, but you can get a short one as well. To check it out, this thing folds down. It has a nice carrying case, but it's got a double burner with a middle burner. Got the gas on. So we go ahead and we turn it and let the gas start going. And then it has an igniter there that will go ahead and spark it up to get it going. There we go. Okay, so now that the flames are going, we're gonna put this on top. Let it heat up, and in about four or five minutes, we'll get to cook and walk you through this. Hope your appetite's ready, because this is delicious. All right, well, we're really hot over here. It took just a minute. So what we're gonna do is, this is the key. You need either a parchment paper or wax paper, or whatever you got at your house, to go ahead and use to smash. Otherwise, you're gonna have a sticky mess. So you can use, hey, Kimba, put these wrench back going after the wax paper there. Um, you can use butter or you can use oil, but if you want to come on over here close, you're just going to go ahead and put a slab down, put a slab down, make sure it's nice and hot. And you just want to kind of give a spot for that meat to go, whether it's butter or oil or whatever. And then you're going to put your burger down. Okay, let's make sure we're nice and hot. Put this burger down here. And you have two options on how you want to smash it. If you have a burger press, like what we have here, you can go ahead and give it a nice smash with the burger press. Again, this is beef and it's just with a little salt and pepper. And you just wanna smash it out till it's a little bigger than a bun because it'll shrink in just a little bit. So there's one there, hot. And then the other option you have is if you do not have a burger press, you can take any old spatula and you can just go ahead and put this here and then you can press it down with another device and try to get a similar size out of it. I'm gonna press that one a little harder. And these cook really fast. I'm gonna smash this one a little bit more. They're not gonna dry out. Okay, so we're about a quarter of an inch thick or so. And we're just gonna cook them until they start to boil a little bit of the blood on top. So stay tuned. All right, well, it's been just a minute. They're starting to brown on the edges. So we're gonna go ahead and flip them. Wanna take a look? We got this beautiful, nice caramelization there with seared in. So then what we're gonna do, again, they cook really fast. We're gonna put cheese on them. I like to do a double burger, so it's third pound burger on a normal adult portion, or we just do one for the kids. We're gonna do double cheese as well. So we'll let that cook for just a minute and then we'll go ahead and stack it. Okay, so if you have one of those cooking domes or a metal bowl you can put over the top, it'll help it to steam a little faster. But when what we're gonna do is we're gonna stack them on top. And then this is really the trick to getting that delicious burger. You don't need to toast the buns unless you want, but you can go ahead and put that here. And you wanna put the bun on top and then you're gonna wrap this burger in a piece of aluminum foil for just a couple minutes. That's gonna finish melting that cheese and steaming up the bun. And it's gonna be just delicious. So we'll try this. Plus it keeps it warm until you're ready to sit down. Try this in just a second, see how it comes out. Stay tuned. Okay, we're finishing up a few more burgers. 
Let me open this up. Oh, and you see all of this cheese is nicely melted We're using this brioche bun. And then we'll cut it in half and see, I can just see the juices flowing out. Oh, that looks really, really good. Oh yeah. So let's try out this smash burger. Perfect. Thanks for tuning in Mr. Grace How To. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And again, remember with all these videos, if I can do it, you can too. Thanks for watching.